Everybody, I am K here bringing you another video. This time we're going to be working on the Mark II Nitrous Jetta. And uh, we're going to be doing some disassembling. We're going to end up taking the whole car apart pretty much and uh, starting over, cleaning things up, and uh, going from there. But first things first, I'm going to have to do some sweeping. Has some uh, quick dry or kitty litter, whatever you want to call it, laid down. So have to get all that cleaned up and then um, we'll start taking it apart. We'll see how far we get though. Cheers. So you guys may be asking why, you know, I'm, I've decided to take it all apart again. Um, realistically, it's, it's things like this. Like, for example, the fans here. Cheap eBay fans, nothing wrong with them really. But how we wired it up, that's where the issue is, right? I can't disconnect the fans unless I cut this wire and unbolt this one, right? That being said, if somebody else was to perhaps in the future buy this car, that's just not acceptable. It's acceptable for me because it's my car. I know what I'm doing. Um, I just, I need to clean up things. It looks like a mess. It is a mess. I'm going to have to get a new radiator. I'll probably go to a smaller half half radiator. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, everything's coming out of the car, as you'll see. And we'll go from there. So, uh, plan was to run uh, the rear mount turbo setup. That's still going to be stage two of my build stage one again is well i guess it would be stage two now stage two now is we know the car runs we know it we got that all situated it the wiring's good blase blase but we got factory light harnesses everything else all that needs to come out clean it up dashboards coming out uh, taking all the wiring out. This is going to be a full-blown drag car, which was my intention to begin with. I don't know why I didn't just go along with, you know, the original plans. But that comes down to not being patient. And honestly, hadn't seen the car ran in over eight years until we put this motor in it, got it fired up and running again. So that was a, you know, probably a, a driving factor behind it. But now I'm in a better place where I want to clean it up, take my time with it. Um, I'm not in no rush. Do, you know, where we, where we cheaped out at, like on the radiator fans and stuff, uh, you know, go back and uh, upgrade that stuff. But, you know, obviously we got good stuff. We got an Aeromotive fuel pressure regulated. Like, we didn't cheap out on some stuff. 
but other stuff we for sure did. So, yep, we're going to drop the subframe. Um, everything, everything's coming out. Yep, we're going to restart. And then we're going to uh, have you guys coming along. We'll film all the processes. Uh, I got it up on the time lapse over there right now, as you can see. Boom. I uh, just got that front end off, so we'll keep on going. I just wanted to check in and show you why we're doing what we're doing. And like I said, we didn't cheap out on some stuff. That's a diesel geek shifter. So it's just, it's just them things. We'll get back to it now.